Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to open up a Game Boy Advance SP and remove the front light that's inside. The front light is what we're going to be using later on to be doing the Game Boy Color mod. This is part one of possibly two or three other videos that I'm going to be doing. So, without further ado, let's get started. You're going to turn around the Game Boy Advance SP and you're going to be removing the four tri-wing screws that are holding it down. This isn't going to be too difficult so just get them off and move on to the next step. Next step is taking off the battery cover. is isn't too hard, it's being held down by a Phillips screw. Take that off, remove the battery and get the last two tri-wings that are holding this part of the SP down. After you remove that, you'll see the motherboard and it's being held down by three Phillips head screws. Once you get those three screws off, you're going to slowly pull up the motherboard so that you can see the ribbon cable that's connecting the screen to the motherboard. There's two little tabs that are holding the ribbon cable down. You just pull up those two tabs, wiggle out the motherboard, and you'll have successfully removed the motherboard. After you have that done, just go ahead and put the motherboard on the side because you're done with that. Pull up the ribbon cable and find the little screw that's holding part of the hinge together. Take that screw off and start pulling off the speaker, the membranes, and the buttons from the SP. If you're going to be putting the SP back together later, make sure that you take care of all of these screws and things that you're pulling off because it's very easy to lose them. I suggest putting them in little baggies or just having a very organized spot to keep them. After you have all of these things taken off, go ahead and open the SP back up, push out any buttons that are still stuck, and if you're done with that, then go ahead and start removing the little rubber things that are covering the five screws that hold the faceplate onto the SP. Again, if you're going to be putting the SP back together to keep using without a front light, make sure not to lose any and try not to get hit in the face. Damn you rubber thingy. So take the, all the five off. After you have all of them off, start removing the tri-wing screws that are holding this down. Shouldn't take you too long. I want to take this time to say if you are doing this for the first time be really patient. It's really easy to forget where you put something, forget if you took off all the screws and if you start yanking at it you're going to break it. If you're going to be putting this back together you really don't want to break any part of the SP. Once you have the screws off just go ahead and pull off the back cover and pull off the screen. If you've made it this far, you've successfully removed the screen from the SP and you're ready to start doing the light removal. This part's a little bit more, not difficult, but it's more important to take your time on these parts. Mostly because the screen is glass, it's fragile, you can break it real easily. So take your time. Right now what I'm doing is I'm slowly taking off the front lens from the screen. It's being held down by some very strong adhesive, some adhesive tape. So just try and go around the corners, pulling it up little by little. You can just move it all around, you know, pull up one side, pull up another side. It honestly takes me a full minute to get this one off. And it takes me that long because I want to take my time because I don't want to break the screen. I can resell the screen later or I can just put it back together and resell the SP without a light or use it for a giveaway later. So like I said, take your time and get the lens off. Once you have that done, you'll see the adhesive that was holding the lens down 
you're gonna peel it up from one little corner and just pick at it just a little once you have enough up you can go ahead and start peeling up the adhesive from all around the screen this is probably the easiest part of this section of the tutorial once that's done you turn the SP or the SP screen around and you start peeling up the foam insulation that's on the back you can also just rip it off it doesn't necessarily have to go back on but I like to put it back so I try and be careful not to mess it up at all after you peel that back you can hold it down with tape or something so it's out of your way or if you're just gonna rip it off then don't even worry about it next is the scary part if you're used to soldering this is gonna be a breeze but if this is your first time I do recommend just you know check out videos showing how to solder check out videos showing how to take off things with the soldering iron and also do not burn yourself because this shit hurts I burn myself a couple times and it's not fun once you're ready to take off the two leads that hold the ribbon onto the screen you just put the iron to the ribbon leads and use your exacto blade or use your flathead screwdriver to push up a little while you put the heat on try not to keep the iron in one place for too long because you don't want to melt the ribbon any damage to this ribbon could possibly result in it becoming absolute trash if you mess this up it won't work you won't have your light and you'll just be fucked so take your time don't rush and get through it so this in total took me about five minutes I have a cheap iron and it just took me forever to actually get it off I need to get a new iron but until then this one works just fine for me I got the first one off and then there we go got the second off oh that honestly stressed me out when I did it all right now you have it flipped over again and you're ready for removing the light screen and the light itself from the SP screen all you're going to do is pull up the screen <clears throat> and carefully, really carefully, pull out that ribbon. It's gonna go through a little slot, so just kind of wiggle around, maneuver it through it, and it'll pop right out. And if you made it this far, you're hopefully done. You've got it out, you hopefully haven't messed it up, and you hopefully haven't caused any scratches to the screen. So this part's really important. This is what's gonna transfer the light through the screen. So one side is gonna be smooth and the other side, which is this side right here, is gonna be a little ridged. That's an important side that I'll get more into later. So right here is a completely optional thing. You don't have to do it, but I do every single time out of habit and just to make sure I haven't messed up the screen. I have two wires tied onto a tapped button cell battery and I pretty much just use it. Ah, Navi turned out the lights. Navi, turn the lights on. Thank you. Okay. So I use it to test out, make sure that they work good. And with the lights off, you can see that it's working good. I didn't mess it up. And this part of the mod was a success. All right, you guys, good luck. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed.